Oh, and it's Port Angeles, not Angeles. Good to know. Seattle has been quite an experience. Been off the beaten path, staying just outside of cities or in really small towns or really small cities. And this is, uh, this is the first time that we've been in like a major city on this trip in like a month and a bit. A little sensorily overwhelming, but pretty amazing. So the last two days we met up with Steve's half sister and reconnected with her and got a, and her husband and we got a really cool tour around Seattle. Saw the Troll Bridge, saw really cool views and marinas and green spaces. Huge couple days. So today we're, uh, we saw Pike Place and that was very overwhelming, but we got to see the fish being thrown. <laughs> And that was really cool. Um, there's a place called Sisters of Brothers that we saw on Triple D, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. And we're going to check that out and have some food. It's really uh, cool in there. It's like yeah. dark. Oh, like right up Mrs. Did, Stark's alley. Did, did, yeah, you, you would like to eat in there. <laughs> Dingy. I got it, I got it. Wow! Hey, good, good. Yeah? Yeah. Mmm. Can I get one more bite with a taco? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah. Oh, look at that bite. That's a good bite. Oh. Whoa. It's hot, eh? That's like ass kicking spice. Yeah. Whoa. See, this is why when people say, do you like spicy food? Say, yeah, but never go to the spiciest. Oh, this isn't the spiciest. This isn't the spiciest? This is a step down. My eyes are watering a little. Yeah. See, that's why you don't go to the spiciest. Yeah, the spiciest is insane. And what's this? This is Nashville hot. The next level down is Seattle hot. Maybe Ooh. maybe because we're in Seattle, I should have gotten Seattle Whoa. hot. Holy sh Ooh, that's good chicken. Oh, oh Hutch, I think you'd be a fan. Wow. Yeah, was it? What was the price point like? 40? Oh, yeah, the whole thing was 20 bucks. That's pretty good for a side, too. Oh. That's a huge sandwich. My mouth is on fire. Wow. Oh, my God. The mac and cheese was her recommendation. I don't even know if the mac and cheese is spicy or if I just have like spicy residual situation here. When I do this, can you see fire coming out of my mouth? It feels like a shit, eh? That's the spiciest chicken sandwich I've had in a very long time. Yeah. Oh my god. And like good to know if we're in Nashville, we're not necessarily up to Nashville level spikes. I'm like Holy shit, right now. Like, I can't stop swearing because it's so spicy. I've noticed all the swearing. Oh my god, like, I'm, I'm like having like a, like an awakening. Look at the chicken. And it's fast, eh? Mm hmm. Yeah. These guys are fing around. <sighs> Do you think it got a little too spicy? One down's usually like we're like like that's if you go here, know that like spicy food is really spicy. I'm gonna get water out of the back. I know you're not supposed to drink water, but like I have to do something. Uh. Holy sh! It's good to know what our spice levels. I can't open it or speak. Oh 
Okay, so lessons learned from this experience. Okay. I would say as we go down the coast, maybe we do like more of a medium spice level and see how that goes. I think you're right. Look, I'm like sweating. I know. I have like, I have tears in my mm. eyes. I like, I feel like I'm in like another world right now. Oh, that's spicy one. Yeah. That was humbling. That was a humbling fried chicken experience. <sighs> I know my ass feels a little kick for that. Like my head is like. Uh, is that water done? Okay, good to know. Good, to, good. That's a chapter red lesson learned. <sighs> my body feels like it's been served on a platter. Ooh. And like I often watch people eat spicy food. I'm like, oh, it can't be that bad. And like the spicy one show. I gotta tell you, I don't even know if I'm coming or going right now. Yeah. Can we toss this out? Yeah. <sighs> Okay, well, we learned things there, okay? Yeah, we learned.